Hello and uh, welcome back. Um, today I'd like to show you a little bit about my uh, Marconi, my 2955. Uh, you may have seen it there because, yeah, it is uh, it is one of my top uh, equipments. Uh, I really like that. I, I was really looking for 20 years to find one that was uh, affordable and I have it. And there, that's why it has a prominent position in my desk. And you will always see it in my videos or most of my videos. And um, on the, in the past uh, days, I received uh, two of these uh, CB radios, base stations, internal transformer, internal speakers. So really a base station. They even came with their original microphone. So that is really cool. And they didn't even pay too much. So uh, again, I was kind of uh, lucky to find them. I'm not gonna adjust them, but I'm just gonna see if they work. And uh, and that way I can also show you what I do with uh, how I work with my Maconi. So um, I will zoom in a little bit on the radios and then I connect them to the Maconi and we just play a bit with the buttons. Oh, and here we have the two radios in the Netherlands. These were very, very popular, exactly these, these types. The Skyline, the 2020, and it also had the mobile version, and it was kind of blue. Uh, I also had one on my uh, desk. Uh, you can see them in one of my other videos, but this is the, the base station version. Uh, it's 22 channels, and it has a half watt of uh, output power. And uh, these models actually look look quite nice. And then uh, also the one in the bottom, uh, the Major 4000. It also has 22 channels and uh, half a watt of output power. And you see they already replaced the button with, an, with another one. This one should be black, like the shape of this one, but then a little bit bigger. Um, but uh, yeah, let's just see. And I like that it is the original microphone. Look at this, the original Skyline and also the Major. This one is kind of universal because also for the Highcom and the other brands and they only replace uh, this, this little plate that it says Mayor, so in that sense, it's original. But as you can see, the skyline really has a very distinct microphone. This is really, yeah, really from the skylines. So uh, I would just look, hook up, uh, hook them up uh, to the to the Macon. I will show you uh, quickly how to how to connect it to the Maconi, but it's nothing special. I have just two inputs here in the Maconi, and zoom in later on that. There is one for the low power, it's up to one watt. And I'm connecting it here to the other connection that can up to 75 watts. This is one of the first versions of the 2955. So it doesn't have a letter, not A or B. So it's just the 2955, but it goes up to uh, one gigahertz, which is a lot. And I connected it to external reference to my GPSDO. So it is, it is put on. Um, so what I do, I just connected the antenna connection. I just connect it to the back and that's it. So I can just put full power because it can go up to 75 watts, full power into the Magoni. And the Magoni is actually also a transmitter and a receiver at the same time. And you can just switch them over. So when this one is transmitting, the Maconi is receiving and when the and when the Maconi is transmitting the the CB is receiving and you just switch it over manually. So uh, and I will show you what I mean. I will try to get it all in one screen. Okay, we've got them both in the screen. Yeah, I think uh, for this test, it is uh, nice to see the radio, but uh, the main thing is now the, the Marconi. So uh, here is uh, the radio right here. It is 22 channel, as you can see. Well, the switch needs some cleaning. The switch is also doing the display. I just put it in channel 22. You can see it's receiving. If I push the button, it will be transmitting and you see already the Marconi is moving. So now I zoom in into the Marconi. 
Okay, the Marconi. So I put the Marconi in transmitter test. The input here you can select from the lower power input to the high power input. And it says transmitter test. So it means that the Marconi right now is in receive mode. So when I put the transmit button, you can see where it's transmitting. This is its frequency counter. You can see it's a little bit off because it should be 225, but it doesn't matter. And instead of 0.5 watts, this one, so they adjusted it. It is uh, 0 0.87 watts, which is uh, nice. You can also see here the power. And because it's a receiver, actually now, you can also probably hear, I don't know if you can hear, but you can hear if the mic works. So that works. And there is also a receive mode. So you can put it to receive and you type in the frequency that you want to receive. I usually am a bit lazy, so I just put it in transmit mode. Of course, I adjust then first the transmitter that it's transmitting on the right one. And then I just say my receive frequency should be the trend. My transmit should be received. And then it's stored. Then I go to receive mode. And there you have your frequency. So if I now put the squares, you can hear the noise. And you can put a bit more power. Well, I'm not that used, not used to use DBMs in this sense. So I will switch to microvolts. So because we are putting directly, I will shut down the noise. I put directly power into the antenna. It is very, very, very low voltage because yeah, usually you receive it from the air. So it does very, very low. And a good receiver is uh, below a one microvolt. So I will put a little bit of noise back and then you can hear what I mean. So if I now turn down, we are now below one microvolt. Ooh, this is sensitive for, for an old device from the 80s. 0 0.3, 0 0.4 is very, very nice. So the radio is working. And then you can also do a, a C nut measuring. Then it's a signal noise, noise ratio. And uh, what you need to do then, you need to put uh, the output from the speaker. You can put here in the input, uh, I have input, and then it will calculate uh, the noise uh, ratio. But I usually do my, with my ear because this sounds good. And then here it starts to be worse. And that is exactly what the CNOT is doing. So if your hearing is good, you don't necessarily need a CNOT machine. But uh, this one is good. And uh, that's why the Magoni is so great. As in, uh, now I'm putting 1K, but you can also just uh, change the, the frequency of the modulation if you want 1.5k you can also of course put it then it's a bit higher but usually you adjust because this is already a little bit annoying so 1k i was used to 1k to do that and sometimes um well if you the squell system now is to reduce the let me lift in the level if you can hear if the system goes low, low. If you don't want to hear this noise, you have the squelch button, sorry, on the radio. And then you just say, I don't want to hear this, but when the level goes above, it needs to open. Well, this is just a receive level squelch, but some even have a sub audio system and this with the sub audio system, it is always off, so you don't hear other people. But then you can send a sub audio tone, and it's all very low. And you can also do that with this. You go to the tones, 
sub audio frequency and then you said okay i have one two three merge how loud well 500 is enough yes and then you can send maybe i don't know if you hear but now it doesn't send the sub audio and if i go to the homes sub audio and then an extra tone comes in but it's very low and then it opens the squirrel so that's another system and then you have multiple tone systems that it can do like uh, you were in the past with the taxis you were the blub, blub, blub. you were the five tone i think we can do that here so let me put the one next tone Next down, next down, two, next down, a five, next down, three. I'm not gonna play a song, but usually it was five down. And then it also opens the squirrels that was used for taxis in the past, what I uh, remember. Okay, let me hear if we can hear it. I will switch off the modulation tone because otherwise it's uh, so otherwise it is very noisy and then we go back to tones I need to clean that button to the tones and then we do a tone burst maybe you remember that from from the scanners that you could hear the taxis doing this so that you can also test so in that sense it is a very cool machine so that was it very quick run through through the Makoni uh, I also checked the other radio and that one gave more than two watts so that is not standard because this type usually is uh, 0.5 watts so it will be fun to see we open it another time to see how they did that so uh, that is nice so I hope you enjoyed that. You had a little view of my Makoni. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I uh, hope to see you next time.